All right, hello. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing some stuff in single player today. Uh, we're going to be working on my Minecraft map here. This is the studio map. I plan to at some point make a small server um, using mod to where we can basically test out mods and stuff in a space which I am currently in the process of constructing. Um, so I finished up the storage area. So, okay, so I first built this structure here. This is the showcase room area. Um, the bottom floor is the main showcase area. There's a lot of empty space here. That's because this is gonna be all configured before in preparation for videos and stuff. Um, there is another larger area up here which is going to be in case, which is going to be as an extended space for, say, if we run out of store area, work area here. If there's not enough work area here, we're going to move it all the way up here. And then I'm going to build an area outside, which outside of here, again, we're in a super flat world. Um, we're likely going to have an... A sep I'm likely going to have a separate world for more volatile mods because I don't want to ruin the progress that I've made so far. And yes, once I finish all of this, I am going to be backing it up because as any sane person does, you want to have something in a, a stored away in case something goes horribly wrong. Also, this area over here, this farm area is going to stay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably going to completely wipe this segment here. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. It does. This here. Um, so I finish up storage area. We're going to have prop storage here. So this is going to be storage for armor and uh weapons uh, as well as specialty items that we won't we won't use on a regular basis like operator items and stuff that um yeah uh that's what this building is going to be for it's going to be the same height as this here this is the only double stack building in this entire server um, in fact, this is the largest building of any of the buildings in the server. Well, in this Minecraft world that's going soon to become a server. Um, there is a nether dimension and I have some projects that I want to do in there before I do upload. Um, we'll go in, we'll go in and I'm going to show you what I've been, what I'm going to be working on, uh, what I've the space that I'm currently trying to set up in here but for right now that we're going to save that for the end of the video because we're going to be working on solely on this today we're going to be basically this area is just I know it's kind of dull with the gray appearance but it's I'm calling it the gray district because that's what it literally is it's just There is a lot of space in here again, so um, this is in preparation for some upcoming video ideas that I have that I want to get underway. And uh, yeah.
So yeah, so we're going to begin. We're going to begin working on this. So as you can see, um, I already have the foundation laid out, and I did this in preparation for this. Now, one of the reasons I did this, aside from being put in preparation, is it sets the block tone and the block palette that I have to use. And since I want these buildings to roughly be, um. To roughly be sim to just kind of it, it match an as certain aesthetic for this area that doesn't you know conflict with one another like the old area does um i still have yet to make an intro room and stuff and that's probably gonna come later we're gonna be using this that area over there for the intros mostly but for intros going forward but for right now um, we have some work to do, and um, the floor, the flooring though between the buildings is going to change. Here, I did this sort of optical illusion. If you go look at this from a certain distance, it starts to curve. Each one starts to curve inwards. That is the optical illusion here. I know it's kind of. I could use different wood type, different wood type here, but I went with dark oak because it just has that color that I like that color aesthetic, the color tone that I like about it.
I'm working with similar tones, but each build building's exterior is going to be slightly different. Yeah, this area here might actually become prop storage and this, but I want to build this out and see, because I can always do purpose this building. Um, this storage here this is main storage this is going to be actually you know what i might just throw together prop storage and main storage and have one just... it has enough storage with it uh...
I choose to do, I'm going to go ahead and just put the lighting in. <clears throat> We're going to be using sea lanterns now. I could do, but like what I, I could do something with redstone lanterns, but that's kind of excessive to me.
Okay, so uh, I've got this. I opted not to do it and I decided to revert back to the decision of making it a prop room. This is has all the crafting that I probably will need. Uh, there are a few other blocks like anvils, which I probably should add, but that's gonna be like... Fletching table isn't really used right now, so we're going to hold off on adding that. But this has all the crafting th stuff that we're going to need, at least for base vanilla stuff. When it comes to mods and stuff and all those crafting stuff, we're going to, uh, well, that's where this comes in. That's where all this comes in. I've been planning this out for like a few weeks now. Anyways, so yeah, uh, I I went ahead and did all this. There's there's plenty of storage in here, immediate storage that we can pull from. I'm gonna be filling this with filling these with actual resources for once, um, because I do plan to make sure that this is all full of the resources. Even though we're in creative mode, I don't want to be constantly going e pressing the menu, pulling out blocks with middle with with middle mouse button which is just basically pressing down on your scroll wheel. Um, if your mouse doesn't have that feature, then you probably should get a different mouse. Uh, I use a wired mouse, by the way, because I find them much more reliable than a wireless mouse. I don't have to worry about charging it, and it just pl it's just plug and play. It, 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 it's probably one of the best pieces of, it's one of the most uh, pieces, it's probably one of the best choices. Don't go buy a wireless mouse, I know that Bluetooth is a thing, and I know that it's like, you know, new, but like, 
this is a tr tested technology and it works really well. Also, I retrofitted my mouse because the middle mouse wheel s kept slipping. And I just use, I just, the trick to doing that is to slip a piece of rubber glove under like nitrile glove underneath the wheel. You're going to have to disassemble your mouse though to do all that. And if you don't know what you're doing, you may end up damaging some components. So I, I'd recommend if you are going to do this, look up a video on how to disassemble it. Or if you're like me, I already kind of know how to disassemble and take apart things properly. And I have a whole electronics kit. So yeah. Anyways, back to the main subject. And yeah, we just have one building left, at least for right now. So now what, com what comes down to it is I said in a video that I did not release because I was kind of lazy and forgot to the day that I was going to release it. This building right here, the, the, I'm giving the community the, the, the choice and I'm going to have a poll running. Um, this will either A, be a coffee shop, um, or B... Or B, it will be a uh, little diner. Those are the two options I have. As for the diner, it's going to have to follow the aesthetics of here. But I am going to take some liberties here and do a American-style interior. Um, for those who don't know what an American-style... For those overseas who don't know what an American-style diner looks like... Um, I do recommend looking it up because I honestly am not probably not going to, I don't have the, I'm not, uh, I don't have a good editing software right now, so I don't want to push things too far, um, any farther. I don't want to strain it because it's just, it'll cause more issues down the road. But for right now, also on that note, I am going to be getting Filmora at some point very soon, like within the next couple of months, like maybe next year early spring i guess um because at least i want to get it for my birthday because yeah um just a really good just a really good smooth clean editing software that i can actually fucking work with and i really like it um yeah so yeah, that's 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 a, that's actually an official statement from me. I'm not going back on that. That's a decision I've set made my mind. I'm hell bent on getting it. Now, whether or not I can scrape the money together all depends on how well I do in the next well month. Actually, I'm gonna do it regardless of the funding I can get because uh yeah, it's a fun software. So yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the update on this uh as you know as i've stated earlier this building right here is going to be community community dependent so i'm going to put up put out a poll right as this video is going to be released so you guys can uh decide what to what i'm going to build here Anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and I'm totally building another wart, uh, another wart farm pretty soon here because uh, if we are going to be doing stuff like, especially with testing out potions, we're going to do things with commands too, but just, yeah, as you can see, things are coming together. Oh, fuck, I forgot something. Uh, I forgot to put the lighting in. Let's do that before I just... You know, this is just extra video content, by the way, because I haven't 
come out with something like this in a while. Yeah, uh, also I still haven't decorated this room. That's going to change next episode. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and decorate this together because, uh, I've kind of been putting it off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This time for real.